Good day kids! Here we are again with our new lesson in TLE 6, Module 3, Agriculture 6. This is Teacher Sandy Cinco. Let's begin. We have three lessons in Module 3, namely Types of Orchard Farms, Lesson 5, Trees Appropriate for Orchard Gardening Based on Location, Climate and Market Demands, Lesson 6, Proper way of planting, propagating trees, and fruit-bearing trees, such as budding, marketing, and grafting. Lesson 7. In this video, we are going to discuss Lesson 5 and 6 only to clearly discuss the topic. Lesson 7 will be discussed on the next video. Knowing the different types of orchard that you want to establish in a place must be studied carefully. This lesson focuses on the following orchards. Number one, fruit orchards include any facility that focuses on fruit bearing trees and it is the common type of orchard. Some of the popular fruit trees in our country is mango, avocado, durian, mangosteen, jackfruit, lanzones, rambutan, and many more. Citrus trees such as pomelo, lemon, lime, or orange may be grown in large citrus orchards or individually in smaller area number two not orchards include all facilities that focuses on nut bearing trees the three nuts that are popular in our country are cashew nuts and pili nuts this category also includes coconuts and cacaos Number three, seed orchard is an area where superior quality of plant trees are established and managed intensively and entirely to produce large quantity of improved seeds. Seeds in the orchard are sold to large agricultural facilities and commercial distributors for resale to the public in small seed packets. The size of the seed or chart is determined by the seed demand and the expected seed production from the orchard. We have various types of orcharding. So what is orcharding first? Orcharding is defined as cultivation of orchard maybe fruits or nuts or others so we have number one orcharding with single variety of a fruit crop number two orcharding with different variety of fruit crop number three mix orchard with different fruit crops or almost equal lifespan and number four orcharding with intercrops intercropping so other form of orchard home school community orchards are small piece of land where grafted and dwarf varieties of trees are planted and are small enough to fit in the garden or backyard one of its purpose is to produce household cost to, or to reduce the household cost and grow more of their own food so now now let's remember orchards are large fields where trees are planted to produce fruits nuts and seeds they are categorized according to their products namely fruit orchard nut orchard and seed orchards
home or backyard orchard is an orchard that is maintained in a small piece of land and grows different varieties of dwarf and grafted trees to fit in. Now, let's proceed to the next topic. So, so this is lesson 6. Trees appropriate for orchard gardening based on location, climate, and market demands. Trees and fruit-bearing trees do a better job of saving us money, providing shade, reducing noise, and even saving our lives from calamities. Establishment of an orchard is a long-term investment and requires a very critical planning. The selection of proper location, climate condition, and market demands must be considered first. We will explain these three considerations. So the location, climate condition, and market demand. Let's start with location. Picking the right tree for the right place is very important. Trees will be more productive when they are planted in a place suitable for them. Topography affects plant growth. Through differential incidence of solar radiation, wind velocity, soil type, temperature effect, and even the level of the sea. So, below are the trees appropriate for orchard gardening based on location. So in every location, we have different types of trees appropriate. So, hill, slope, valleys, and plains. So, hill, we have coconut, mango, pili nut, and palm tree. In slope, we have mango, pili nut, palm tree, coconut, and cashew. Valley, we have durian, banana, papaya, and mangosteen. And in plains, banana, mango, coconut, santol, citrus, guava, star apple, and jackfruit. So let's move on to the next. Climate. The right time, season, or condition of the place is equally important as choosing the landscape where trees should be planted. Adaptability of plants or trees to grow depend much on the temperature of the place, whether it is humid, wet, cold, windy, and the like. Here are the trees appropriate for orchard gardening based on climatic condition. We have elevated, that is cold, lowly or warm, dry season, and wet season. In elevated or cold uh, area, we have pomelo. In lowly, warm area, we have mango, guava, banana, coconut, and durian. In dry season, we have papaya, banana, star apple, palm tree, and pili. And we have in wet season, we have banana, mango and durian let us see for market demand this is something to consider especially when an orchardist is inclined to business he must have an idea of the fruits desired by many people in all occasions Availability of fruits in different locality, fruits in season, and even pricing 
for him to have a better profit. Here are the trees appropriate for orchard gardening based on market demand. We have banana, mango, citrus, jackfruit, guava, star apple, santol, and coconut. So that's all in lesson 6. Lesson 7 will be discussed in the next video. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned a lot. Until next time, bye-bye.